But uh, the first shoe that I want to talk about is actually dropping on May 17th. Yes, yes, baby. The week following Mother's Day. Shout out, shout out. But this isn't just a regular sneaker. No, 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 baby. Because this sneaker right here is actually a golf shoe. But it's near and dear to my heart. So you already know we got to talk about it. And that's the Air Jordan 9 Low Golf Baron. Yeah, baby. Obviously, um, a reiteration of the Jordan 9 Barons that MJ wore when he was playing baseball for the Birmingham Bur uh, Birmingham Bur uh, Barons, excuse me on that one. And uh, I mean, it's a bit of a tongue twister, right? You say that too many times fast, yikes. But um, obviously when we're talking about the low from the golf standpoint, identical colorway as the ones that MJ wore when he was playing baseball. You can obviously see that in the picture right there. Difference is when he played, he obviously had the high top, which is why when they redid the Jordan 9s for a basketball sneaker, we saw all of those as high tops, not as lows as you're seeing here with the golf cut. Now, I like the low because me personally, you already know we did the golf video with the, um, I call it the Chicago colorway or the Space Jam colorway that uh, white black true red look um, obviously I got that in the low Jordan 9 love it super comfy but with the Baron it's the exact same cut exact same style only difference is the colorway and we got a little bit of different detail on the back side of this uh, of the golf shoe as well but as you can see in the pictures right here man the white laces pop beautifully over that black tongue the black solid shoe as you can see one of the staples with the Jordan 9, that beautiful mud ring that goes all the way around the shoe, inside to outside, you love that. And then this is the part right here. On the inside of the sneakers, you obviously got the pinstripe, that 45 showing nicely, nice little baseball touch. And obviously on the back of the shoe, this is the big selling point to me. It's that 45 right there, man. I mean, like I said, it's a beautiful look on this shoe, especially when you're comparing this to some of, like I said, the other Jordan 9s that have released, man, were, you know, part of the conversation around the UNC 9s that came out was the 23 on the back. Is that a big deal or not? I personally think it is. So obviously seeing the 45 on the back at ease definitely stood out. And um, it's a big reason why I'm definitely leaning towards copping these, man. Um, like I said, I'm big into golf now. And whenever I get a chance to have that fire Jordan drip with the golf game, it just makes me feel like I'm playing better. Even though I'm not, don't, don't, don't get it twisted, I'm not. It just feels better. It's the illusion of it all. You know how this goes, man. But like I said, man, these shoes are dropping May 17th for $230. That is the retail. And um, like I said, man, I'm definitely excited about them. They are gonna have multiple laces as well, the all white versus the all black. So like I said, man, first pair pretty clean but you guys let me know your thoughts um on the jordan 9 low golf barons that colorway i wish they did it as just a sneaker it's been times i've contemplated with the uh with the chicago colorway or space jam colorway golf lows removing all them spikes and rocking them things because there's a fire shoe and that's how i feel about this one as well but obviously we will see how that goes man so let's get to this next one real quick though 